Okay, okay. Virtual machine, container, Docker. What's the difference? Well, our hypervisor journey has led us up to this point. We actually have the, the Proxmox server built and we're ready to create our first virtual machine. But as you do that, as a matter of fact, let me, let me show you right here. This is the data center view of our, of our Proxmox system. And right up here is the create virtual machine. And right next to it is this button that says create container. Okay. What is that? And when would I use it? It's a great question. And I want to go to the, to the whiteboard or, or how about the, uh, the gray board as we would call it um, and draw this out because I think this will make a lot of sense and make it really easy for you, right? Down here is the hypervisor, right? This is, this is the physical machine uh, that is running the Proxmox or whatever virtualization platform you are running, right? And what that does is, is abstract all of the hardware to where you've got your CPU, you've got your memory, you've got your hard disk and all the other resources that that physical mean presents, right? It could even be map drives. And you use those resources to create virtual machines. This gives us way better utilization of our hardware than we used to have back in the old days where there was essentially one server equals one, uh, one, <laughs> I'm a, hang on, brilliant statement right here. One server equals one server right? Now we can do more than that. That's what, what VMs are. We can say, okay, one server equals VM one. Maybe that's a, you know, a windows print server, right? Uh, VM two, uh, or VW, how about uh, VM two? Uh, maybe that's an, an, an Apache web server, right? That's running on Ubuntu 18.04, right? Or, or so, you know, and on and on and on we go creating our virtual machines. And that allows us to share these hardware resources down here, uh, in ways that we could never do in, in, in history long past, right? We used to have servers that would sit there, you know, 98% unused because the one server that they ran uh, only consumed a small amount of resources, right? Virtual machines or virtualization did that for us. But then somebody made it better. Specifically with Ubuntu or <laughs> Ubuntu Linux, they said, we can even abstract this further. We can abstract the kernel of Ubuntu, of, why do I keep saying Ubuntu? Of Linux, right? The Linux kernel, essentially the core components that run that uh, can be abstracted to where instead of having, I mean, think about think of it this way. Let's say we created a Windows print server, right? Uh, and then over here we have a Windows file server, right? Well, those would be two separate virtual machines and they would ha both have to run the full Windows server platform, right? All of the registry keys and the DLLs and the essentially the, the, the engine that makes rin Windows run would have to be run fully twice, right? You virtualized it twice. Well, in, in the world of containers, or specifically what you find with, with Proxmox, is LXC containers, right? These are Linux containers. You virtualize the kernel of this to where you can create these little containers, and I'm trying to find a different word, these little blobs, right? We'll just call it container one, container two, container three, that share the same Linux kernel. This gives you even more efficiencies over the virtual machine world because you've gone yet another layer. Instead of having to have, for instance, the same Windows operating system registry, blah, 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 they figured out how to take the kernel components of Linux, suck them out, and then allow all of these containers, which are Linux instances, right? They can now all share the same kernel. That's awesome because I can create container one and have my full Linux environment and run all my different applications, right? That are totally separate from container two and yet share the same kernel. I, I almost think of it like, like Linux partitions, if you will, right? So, so I promised, I, I started the introduction by saying, okay, virtual machines, right? You know, full operating system. Containers, which are, which are, are essentially an instance of an operating system, a shared kernel, right? And then I said, Docker. What's the difference? Well, when it comes to Docker, they actually took it one step further. Truth be told, Docker started on the same technology, uh, LXC containers, Linux containers, right? And that was Docker for years and years and years in its first revolutions. But then they said, we want to get even more specific. Docker isolates it down to yet further a single application. 
Now, the reason that's, that's significant is because a Docker instance isn't a full Linux environment. It's geared to become just one application. Yes, it shares a Linux kernel. Yes, it's, it's all the same concepts, but it's just one thing. Now, we can spin up many instances of that one application, but it's just one application, right? That's, that's what Docker is all about. So you have to glue, oftentimes, multiple Docker instances together to create a complete service, and a lot of people do. LXC, Linux containers, are just one step backwards. It's a full Linux environment where you can have multiple applications just built on a shared kernel. Which is better? I don't know. It's, it's however you want to design it, right? Depends on your design. Do you want to create a package that has multiple applications that you say, okay, that's one instance, and I want to spin that up again and again? Or do you want to create a package that has a single application, right? And I want to spin that up again and again. That's the difference between LX, LXC and, and actual Docker, right? And you can, you can do both. You can, you can use both. But I want that concept to soak in because as we get into building virtual machines and then we get into building containers on Proxmox, you'll want to know the difference, right? Three things, virtual machine, full-on operating system, Linux container is the kernel of the operating system, Docker, just an application. It's that simple.